everyone, today I am going to show you what happened during my trip to one of the most famous sites in the Philippines, none other than Intramuros. I am Alexis Alas from Grade 12 Views presenting my travelog project as a final examination in the subject Creative Nonfiction. We went to Manila to visit a famous and well-known tourist spot in the Philippines. I witnessed the fact that foreigners or tourists go there because of its beauty and historical story. Before we go to our destination here in Intramuros, let's learn first about its unique beauty and history in early times. Intramuros served as the seat of government of the Captain C. General of the Philippines, a component realm of the Spanish Empire, housing the colonist governor general from its founding in 1571 until 1865, and the Real Audiencia of Manila until the end of Spanish rule during the Philippine Revolution of 1898. Intramuros, also known as the World City, has stood for centuries. The city was built in the late 16th century as the city that held the seat of power in Manila. Intramuros is historical because of the walled city of it is a vestige of the Spanish regime's 300-year colonization of the Philippines. Intramuros is the oldest district and historic core of Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Now that we know the history about Itramuros, let us proceed to our main goal here. Museo de Intramuros is an ecclesiastical museum operated and managed by the Intramuros administration. As soon as I entered the museum, I was immediately amazed at the beauty that opened up to me here. It is located at the reconstructed San Ignacio Church and Convent within the historic walled area of Intramuros in Manila, Philippines. It is comprises two important reconstructions, the San Ignacio Church and the Mission Homes of the Society of Jesus. Museo is a place where collections of things of artistic, scientific, or historic interest are set out for display. Religion's art played a major role in the evangelization of most of the Philippines during the Spanish colonization period. Now, let's go to the second floor of the museum. Here, I felt the life of that time even more. I feel like I'm in a prime time because of the beauty my eyes see. To aid in their cake chasing efforts, Spanish priors commissioned local artists to create paintings, sculptures, engravings, and metalworks depicting biblical scenes and holy figures. As I was walking, I couldn't help but to think of the beauty and skill in sculpting and painting by the local artists. The people of the olden days were truly talented. Although there are still many people who are capable of this type of work, but they still cannot match the skills of the olden days.
So now, let's go up to the last floor or third floor of this museum. The Museo de Intramuros, which is presently located on the original site of San Ignacio Church, 1899 to 1945, has collected, preserved, and displayed some of these religious art pieces discovered throughout the century. Here on the third floor can be seen various pictures of old and ancient churches in ancient times. The Philippines is indeed very beautiful and lucky because it had this kind of place that can go back and remember the past generations. When you have been here, you will definitely feel like you are in the old.